It's about finding the unexpected in the most obvious of places. Our city has history, but it's also growing, and within this mix of tradition and innovation comes the exceptional, the quirky, and the hard to find. It's time to dig out some of those gems. It's time to search Winnipeg. I've been interviewing a lot of artists lately, and a word that has come up twice in the last week is encaustic. To find out what exactly that means, I went online to find one of the few people around these parts who have truly embraced it as a medium. We found him in his studio. Keith, K-E-I-T-H, wood. No title on the business card. You could say artist, painter. But it's the medium that needs the description. It's a combination of molten wax, beeswax. Which he prepares over hot plates. And pigment. That's encaustic, derived from the Greek. It means to burn in. It's not highly popular. It's perceived to be difficult, but it's actually not. Artists have used it for thousands of years. Egyptians used to paint faces on the mummy cases, and they used uh, wax as the medium, and they would use natural pigments, earth, different things. In other mediums, those pigments emulsify. Encaustic, the Pigment never breaks down and emulsifies with the medium, and caustic gets suspended in the wax. The result he describes as an inner light. Well, it looks sometimes like the, the light's coming from inside the painting. I like that quality. For 30 years, Wood worked in oil and acrylic. I uh, came back to the studio that I had in the U.S. at the time, and I just thought I just don't have any more acrylic paintings left. A change in medium led to abstract number one, two, three. It's abstract number 47, so, you know, which is meaningless and arbitrary, but it's a way of keeping track of things. He says when you title work, people start looking for things. Mozart didn't, didn't title his work. It was you know, symphony number 27 in B flat or C major or something. A visual experience, nothing more. It's not charged with any kind of political or any other kind of um, message. Oh, well, God forbid people find objects in them all the time. It's sort of like a Rorschach test. I think most artists are uh, like process because they like to see things evolve. And the evolution of these pieces can be quick. It dries in an instant. And devolution is a cinch. So is the cleanup. You just unplug everything. And those pans on the wall are not art, that's storage. Now in his 70s, Wood has become more thoughtful in his process. When you've done hundreds of paintings, drawings, prints, when you've done hundreds of them, literally, it's hard to not repeat yourself. But the key is to remain open to new discoveries. You're supposed to get wiser the older you get, and I don't know whether that's a good thing as a painter or as an artist, wisdom, because it, it, can, it can trump uh, originality. You think you're wise, and all of a sudden the painting humbles you. From ancient Egypt to these Winnipeg walls, a search for encaustic brought us to Keith Wood. What will you find when you search Winnipeg? <laughs>